to start with the uh, the positive stuff. Hey, Hurricanes. It's Ms. Pearson. And Mr. Fernandez, Hurricanes. And we just have a couple of updates for you all. So first, I'll, I'll go ahead and start. If you sure, don't mind. absolutely. Okay, so we just want to remind you that you should be in uniform every day, which means you should have on a red, black, or white polo on Mondays through Thursdays, black or cock black or khaki bottoms on Monday through Thursday and shoes with the back on them. So no slides. Okay. On Fridays, you should be in a school color t-shirt, red, black, or white, or a school tee. So you can have like a school emblem on it or from your clubs at school with jeans, no rips or tears. If you choose not to wear the jeans and school t-shirt, you should be in a red, black, or white polo with black or khaki bottoms. Okay. Right. And just, just to clear up some uh, misconceptions we may have had out there, um, I know that some students have been showing up with pajama pants. At no point in time are pajama pants allowed on our campus. It's not within the SCPS dress code. It's not within the Sem South Seminole Academy dress code. So Unless we have a pajama day. Unless there's so we a have specific that every now and then. pajama day. Yeah, you're right. But outside of that very, very unique day that only occurs maybe once or twice in 180 school days, you should not be wearing pajamas to school. Also, you should not be wearing ripped jeans, even if they have leggings underneath. Right, Ms. Pearson? So no rips or tears. So no rips or tears in those jeans. Um, also, crop tops. We should have on a red, black, or white polo. So that would take care of the crop tops. Mm -hmm. um, also, slides, as you mentioned earlier, there should be uh, no slides. And and here's the thing that's going to happen: if, if we do start to see these things, it'll be addressed. Um, and if you, now, now a lot of students have said to us, Mr. Fernandez, wait, 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 I have shoes in my backpack. <laughs> well, then you should be wearing your shoes. Wait, Mr. Fernandez, I have a polo in my bag then you should be wearing your polo if you already have it. Um, so some of the things that's going to occur if we do see some of these things pop up, like the rips and tears in the jeans, even with leggings, the crop tops, the, the uh, slides, um, the pajama pants, what's going to happen is a few things. First of all, we're, we're going to um, have you change into something that we have here in our own dress code, in our, uh, our uniform, uniform room. room. Thank you. Our uniform room that is dress code. So one, you're going to be asked to change. Two, your parents will be contacted. Three, you'll be placed in hero. And four, you will be able to pick up your ripped jeans or tears or your pajamas, whatever you decided to wear that day. You can pick those up at the end of the day um, and turn your uniform that we gave you back in. Is that about covering Miss right. Pearson? We just want to make sure we're yeah. dressed for success. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is why our uniform was put in place a few years back. Um, so we just want to give you that reminder of what you should be right. wearing and then kind of tell you some of the things that we've seen mm -hmm. that we should, shouldn't should be seeing. And we want to make sure that we clear up any misconceptions. Right. Right, because we've heard a lot of people say, but I thought I could wear fill in the blank. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to make sure that we, uh, we went over oh, that. Oh, I think, can you address... Um, where our pants should be? Our pants should be at our, our waist. They should not be below our waist. Um, so our pants should be at our waist. Um, you know, if there's an issue where, where you need a belt or, or you need, just let me know. I, I, I have access to, to many belts that, that you need to use. Um, you can wear them. Be more than happy to give you one for free. We just want to make sure that ever, all the pants stay, stay at the waist. Um, oh, and also we want a, an update on our, our lunches. Um, the outside area by the gymnasium has been temporarily closed. Mm -hmm. So um, until further notice, the area by the gym is no longer accessible during lunches. Um, we did start that last, last week. We did it today. Today is Monday the 22nd. Today is not Monday. Oh, it's Tuesday the Tuesday. 22nd. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday the 22nd. 2 to 2. 2 22. 22. 2 to 2. So um, that area has been closed. It is not open, uh, so don't don't head down to that area. But we, you can still sit in the courtyard. You can still sit in Legacy Square, and you can still go ahead and sit in the cafeteria. And also at the end of lunch, at lunches during transition, let's make sure that we're transitioning out. There are mm -hmm. restrooms in the courtyard, mm -hmm. so there is no need to stop on your way there. You can head yourself out to the courtyard, to the bathroom. There are restrooms there. Right. So rule of thumb is class changes are about four minutes. It should take you no longer than four minutes to get to the cafeteria. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that way we can we can avoid, you know, 
any of the, the lingering in the hallways and, and things like that. Also, when you're at lunches, um, you are not to re-enter the building, right, Ms. Pearson, right. At, at any time. Um, and in the mornings, you're supposed to go to your locations, sixth and seventh grade in the gym, eighth grade in the cafeteria. cafeteria. <laughs> I'm like, wait, you threw me off for Cafete a little bit because I thought he was saying where I am no, in the morning, which is not the cafeteria. Yeah, so eighth, <laughs> grade, eighth grade should be there. So, so there, there, there shouldn't be any at this point in time. We've been doing it since August. There shouldn't be any confusions on where you need to be in the morning. We just need you to be there in the morning right. um, and, and not in the building at all. OK. And then I just want to wrap back around to mm -hmm. lunches um, because I am inside the cafeteria. Just a reminder that once you find your seat, that's where you should be for the entire lunch. So um, we shouldn't be getting up, moving to go sit with new sets of friends. Kind of decide who you want to sit with at the beginning of lunch so you can sit there. It, it helps us find seats for everyone, and we don't have a lot of confusion about who still needs a seat, who's still in line, you know, and things like that. So Great. just to help with the organization in the cafeteria, yep. once you find a seat, please stay there for the entire lunch. And we do have Spirit Week coming up in a couple weeks. So we'll, there'll be some more information about Spirit Week, some cool stuff coming up. It's the week before spring break. Um, and guys, we'll be getting some information about that from SGA, student government, soon. So, and mm -hmm. I think that's uh, that does it, Miss Pearson. All right. Happy Tuesday. Well, by the time they see this, it won't be Tuesday It won't be anymore, two, 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 But two. I like saying it. There you go. <laughs> and that's all that matters. All right. Hurricanes, have a great afternoon. Don't forget to storm.